In the Bronco backfield, San Juan Broncos, we're going to have to keep that straight tonight. Jens Nielsen, Stacy Rising, Kyle Myers starting. Can hear Fisher starting at the short back? Full backfield, Nielsen, the quarterback. Here's the snap, whistle is blow. Somebody jumped offside, but we got off at least. I think we have an offsides in there. Looks like one of the defensive linemen. Offsides. One of the defensive linemen for Cutland jumped. Offsides. This is interesting if they mark off five yards, they may have to. Very close to a first down. Very close to a first down. Offsides against the Broncos. Third and about a foot. San Juan's got about a foot to go for their first uh, first. Couple game. yards inside Cleveland territory. As you said, third down, about a foot to go. They needed a little over five. They got the five-yard penalty, and now they just need the one or two feet. Straight in the eye behind Nielsen. Now here's Fisher in the motion. Straight handoff right up the middle. He'll get the first and down. Jason Yazzie right down. Give it to the, give it to the big man when you need a couple of yards. Let Stacy put his head down. He went right in behind Robert Nielsen. Jeremy looked in there. I guess you could say got it out about two yards, but that's that's more than what they needed. They got the first down. Kirtland's 46-yard line. That's where the Broncos now have first and 10. Just a minute and a half or two off the clock. Kirtland Central jumping around a lot on defense. Here's Nielsen. There's the snap. Hand off the second man, Meyer. Two or three. Oh, Meyer. Might ball. have three yards off the right side. Three yards on the play. Went off that time behind, uh, looked like Richie Monson. Richie Monson, Lauren Cook on that side. David Lee and John Schmidt showing the plays in and out. Broncos looking at second down, about seven. <laughs> Meyer and Yazzie in the backfield. They're joined there. Mike Fisher, here's the snap, pitch back to Kahia, he comes around the left side, he'll get a big hold, run there, now he's brought down to about the 34 yard line. Kahia Fisher, carrying the ball, just run out of the first and ten. Nine, nine yards, yards easily. Nine yards. Kahia Fisher took him. He comes back in motion like that, that sets the on up with a real strong formation to this one side, whichever side they set the flow at, and uh, puts him out in front with a whole, out there actually behind a, a whole host of blockers, so that's a, that's a good first down play. One receiver wide right, there's the snap. Yes, my head off to Meyer. Meyer, he'll struggle for a few more. About four yards on the play. Yeah, at least four in there. Meyer, that will be a on the play, brings up two and five. Second down, they say five, looks more than five and a half, six yards. Myron Yazzie in there, Jensen Nielsen, the quarterback. Turns, here's the handoff from Nielsen to Meyer. Kyle Meyer, he's, oh, he ran this forward, breaking a couple of times in there before he's brought down at the 23, 22 yard line. About the 23 yard line, for the 23, Another eight yards. And a first down. San Juan's showing a little bit of a, showing a little strength, a little muscle right now. The line is really getting off. They're blowing the curling off the line of scrimmage. Backs are coming in, tucking their head in those holes and getting those extra yards when they need them. Three first downs now, an impressive little drive going. First and 10 from the 23. Here's the snap. The Jensen walks the Jensen backs the pass. He's got a wide receiver. Johnson, touchdown! Touchdown, John Smith. Beautiful play. 23 yard touchdown. Oh, on the scoreboard. John Schmidt, six points, six on the board for the Broncos. Uh, Kirtland remains scoreless, and here in the opening moments, the Broncos strike. Show me Sam Warren looked almost, uh, uh, what's the saying, totally awesome. Whatever you want to call it, they looked uh, nothing but the peak of power. Like a number two went, team, maybe. They went down the field uh, that time. They just the 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 on the the Yazi will do the kicking. Jens Nielsen will receive the snap and hold. Here the ball is down. Yazi's right. kick. It looks pretty good. It's yes, good. it's good. Saturday they would schedule against Grand County either. First quarter, first quarter action continues here. The San Juan Broncos a strike break seven to nothing. The score over the Kirtland Central Broncos. Stacey Yazi will be kicking to the Kirtland Central Broncos. Back deep for them, number 33, Herman Salt. Number 40H, Randy Eltsozzi. And number 32, Corey Sanchez. The ball's out of bounds, though, so we all need kick. He hit that one bad, hit it off the left side of his foot, and it just kind of went over here like a dying quail on fine. Fluttered out of bounds around the 20. 
he's going to have to back up five now and get serious about kicking the ball off. We're going to have to take a few minutes to set the uh, starting offensive line up for Kirtland. We did not have the benefit of Bill Johnson, number 22, Herman Salts, Corey Sanchez, and Randy Altsozzi. I've got a good memory here for these things. Here we go. Here's Stacy's second attempt at a kickoff. Here's set. Here's the whistle. Here's the kick. Good straight to bow kick. Comes down to Randy Elsozzi. He went back across the field. He's 20, 25. He's going down about the 25 yard line. Who kicked off then? Stacy Hodge. Who made the tackle? <laughs> what did I say? First one down the field. We saw that earlier today. So now we get to check out the Broncos on defense. Very impressive on offense in the opening drive. Seven points on the board to show for it. Now setting things in the backfield, we'll have Sanchez, Herman Salt, and if we can pick up a quarterback's number here, it looks like number 40, Dan Garrett. Team set, here's the snap. Garrett wants to throw a heel. He's right past. Oh, we're gonna call interference, I think, on Kyle Meyer. Julius. Intended Julius. receiver number 84, Julius, Julius Padilla. But he got kind of spun around. Let's see where they mark things off now. We'll have a couple of changes in lineups too. They so move the ball up to. The 41, 41 yard line after the penalty, it will be first and 10. And Dan Garrett brings the Broncos to the line. Is that the way you pronounce that one? Looks you're like a little Louisiana well, You're Louisiana, how would you pronounce that? Garrett. Garrett? <laughs> Not if you know him personally. <laughs> okay. Garrett, the quarterback, it's easier to say. Backs in the eye, right behind him, Salt. And there's a pass out to number 22 coming out of the backfield. Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson. Up close to the 50. I got it the 48 yard line. Should bring up second down about two or three. Second down, about four Second and three, Garrett the quarterback. Johnson back there, along with Sanchez, or Salt rather. The handoff doesn't go anywhere. Trying to goes right there. I tried to get it out there in a hurry, but uh, that time we had a young man going through there, defensive line, slanted, and Jason Watkins got through and got in the backfield. Uh, dropping for a loss. And moves it back, make it about third and six. Watson play. Here come the Broncos, the Curtin Central Broncos. Yeah, at the quarterback takes the snap. There's a quick handoff right into the line. Only a couple of anything. Bill Johnson, number 22, running back. We'll gradually pick these things up, but we have about four different backs we've seen in there so far. Now they will be forced to kick. Dropping back deep, Jason Tate, Leah Fisher expecting the punt. Here's the Broncos kick. He gets it away, it'll come down to Fisher. Fisher who comes to the near side, he's being chased. There they get him down about the 23 yard line. Malvin Totachin, number 14 in on that tackle. You want to take a stab at that one? I don't think you sound this <laughs> way. <laughs> Broncos once again on offense. Let's see if they do it again. They were very, uh, I would say, very confident in that opening drive. How about Totacini? That sounds fine. Timeout call now by the Cougars to get to see BYU 
see him on the radio. How's that? First snap at a pitch out back to Kyle Meyer. He's around the right end. He'll get good yardage. He knocked out of bounds at least the first down yardage. The collector is on the play, however. Looks like it might, might have been one of those oo oo blocks where somebody turned the back. We'll have to see what they call him. I don't mind. Some good running on that play. They're giving nine yards if they're going to call. Yeah, they're disgusting. Ten yards. Ten yards. They are asking him to, 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 to That's the one. Cleveland Central Broncos, who will no doubt will move the ball back. You've got to get San Juan second and uh, second and twenty. You don't want to give them first and whatever they gain. From where they mark the ball over there, be first down yardage. But that will be all wiped out. But then you got to get to the point. Where now Jensen's going to have to throw the ball. So far, he's one for two with uh, 22 touchdown. yards and a touchdown. Last week he was 11 for 14. The week before that he was like eight or nine for 14. So one for two. It's kind of he's not up to the test. Not up to yet. Only 50 percent. Yeah, it's a big time about that. He should be two for two, and then maybe think about throwing one out of bounds. In the backfield, Meyer and Gary Black. Jens Nielsen, the quarterback. Backs in the eye, lines in tight. Hand off to Meyer. Fisher on the inside. Play goes to Meyer. That's Kahia Fisher on the Kahia inside Fisher. on a counter play. Got about three on that little inside yeah. counter play. John Schmidt into the game, David Lee out, bringing in the plays. Schmidt lines up tight. Back split behind Nielsen. Here's the snap. He wants to throw. He's looking out here for John Schmidt. The reception's made, but he'll be dragged down immediately for not very many yards. Short yard is about two yards. Only a couple. Third down, six. And about six to go. Do you think you can uh, bring us up today on the defense? Are we that familiar with them yet? Well, they're playing a four man, a four four, actually a four three, a four set, really. Nielsen drops straight back to pass now. Screen, they had to call a screen. And, oh, and, oh, and just, just lips. That was the one that he really threw bad, and he knows it. He's got his head down, his hands on his hips. They had the screen set up. Can you fish or moved into it in good shape? Uh, just, just threw the ball behind him. That one was simple. He just made a bad pass, and he'll probably be the first one to admit it. Uh, they had the place up, the defensive line was all through. They had a wall. Uh, the was in good shape to get the pass and uh, a lot of room to run. Dropping back, Randy Altsozzi and Herman Salt for the Kirkland Central Broncos. And Stacey Yazzie will be punting for the San Juan Broncos. Here's his kick. Oh, it's a good long one. It'll come down, bounce a couple of times, and then Altsozzi will make the move. He grabbed the ball and uh, immediately hit by Kyle Meyer. And John Schmidt. Those two are down there covering on every team. Finally bring him down about the 39-yard line. Taken down by Kyle Meyer. Mark it at the 40. First and 10, Kirtland Central Broncos. Once again, the score is 7 to nothing. San Juan on top, 529 left in the first quarter. Kirtland with the ball now, first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. High formation for Garrett. Going to receive a wide left, a handoff to Salt. He'll struggle for two, maybe. Okay, we're Salt, number 33. Sanchez leaving the game. Johnson coming back in. And we're set to go. Second down to eight. Here's the second and eight play. Garrett, the quarterback. Team sent. Here's the snap. Quick handoff. A big hole, though. Quick handoff. Yeah, yeah. Actually, not an excellent fake, we should say, because he still had the ball and was brought down for a loss. Well, they had a little belly series play that time. He, uh, he put it in there and let that back take it for a couple of steps. Uh, take it out and pitch it to the man behind him. That time he... Pulled it out, but the man behind him, the man standing right there waiting for him, was uh, Gary Black and Jason Tate. And uh, he didn't want to hand it to either one of those two. They did take him down for a couple of yard loss, though. 
third down, about 13 yards to go. San Juan's got to pull out and put some extra defensive. Uh, extra. Jared Keats, he'll be sacked again by the big loss. Gary Black again. Gary Black getting in on top of him. Gary Black and Jason Tate, those two defensive ends crashing in. And just pulled down. Fourth down and oh, long yardage, 21 yards at least. Well, San Juan's got those two defensive ends. They're both good size, they both move well, and uh, they have pretty good temperament for playing that position. You know, put your head down and crash into somebody in front of you every play. Fisher and Tate will drop back deep. If I'm not mistaken, Herman Salt's the putter. This gets the kick off. John Schmidt almost blocked that one. Comes down to Jason Tate. Hits to the middle of the field. He'll turn up field for maybe four or five. Brought down at the 45 yard line. Well, so see. Randy Alsosi came in with a nice play. Jason cut back to the middle, ran a few yards, and uh, tried to cut it in. Alsosi was waiting for him right in his path. 319 on the clock in the first quarter. San Juan, seven. The Kirtland Central Broncos, nothing. They exchanged some punts now uh, since San Juan did that opening drive. Looks so impressive on it. First and ten for the Broncos. Nielsen, quarterback, pitch out to Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, oh, he turns up field. He's got a lot of speed. Oh, Nailed at the 41. We saw him Aaron Aaron Jones. Jones. last week for quite a few more yards. He got outside that time, turned corner, got, got about uh, 14 yards that time coming around this side. He's got the kind of speed that you really don't need a whole lot out there. Just give him half a block, and he'll outrun the rest of them. San Juan, first and 10. 41 yard line of the Kootenai Central Broncos. Kootenai's backfield. Hand off to Jones again. Jones will turn cut up to all the boys. He's got a couple of holes in there. You would not believe. Nice moves, man. Little 30 yard line. Do a little wiggle here, a little waggle there, and he's got another 10 yards. Nine yards. He's got the whole team walking downfield with him, watching the show. Let's see where they're going to spot this. They're going to change to come in. They're going to be the change in. See if maybe he didn't play. pick up 10 yards on that. He got outside him. Maybe he cut inside this, the defensive corner back here and then tipped out down the sidelines. Got around a couple of men. He's going to be up close to that first down. This is what San Juan did the first drive. They pretty much... Uh, Big burst. Well, they, they showed their aggressiveness and, and tried to uh, really just be superior and tried to just blow them down the field, and they did the first time. They'll stretch out the chains. They got physical. The measurement's going to be short. But by oh so very little. Can't be by too much. I see the head the head man out there with the chain crew. He's deadly sure. He's gonna make sure that they are out and a couple of inches at the most. So we give Aaron Jones nine yards. Ooh, nine yards and about thirty two inches. And the second down. The chain gang. And we're set to go. Second down and short. Extremely short. Oh, boy! The quarterback wanted to sneak. The ball went through his legs and was sitting on the turf right in front of Gary Black, who just grabbed it and did not make the first down yardage. Uh, that... You know, that could have been, that was either one of two things. It was either if a bad thing, snap. It's pretty gutsy. It was either a bad snap, but you got to remember, San Juan has a play yet that they have in there where they, the quarterback just stands there and they snap it straight back to Stacy in his pullback position. And, you know, I don't know which one that was. It could have been either one. Third down, about down now, they throw a flag before we get a snap off. Let's see who we got moving. Shall we quickly, to be, we've given the San Juan lineup at least two out of the way to uh, now we're up first down with that penalty, but continue. For uh, Kirkland, we've got uh, Mills at center, Mason Dodge at the guard, Hatch and Miller to tackles, Padilla, Tortacini at the ends, Randy Alsosi is a tight end as a uh, back, Salt Johnson is back, and Garote is the quarterback. First and 10 from the 29 yard line, 156 left. Here's the handoff to Aaron Jones. He's headed to the right. There's nobody near him. He's going to turn up field and get some good yardage. Gonna get it Almost 9 or 10. Almost got a 
Yeah, that one, that one, you have to say, he got that one on his own just about. They had the whole kind of plugged up and had everybody sealed off to the inside there, and that one just burst outside and uh, turned it on, put the pedal down and wide open spaces for a few minutes. Looks like they're going to give him about nine yards on that. So once again, second down and inches to go, uh, thanks to Aaron Jones. Three rushes, 14, nine, and nine, so pretty good average, I'd say. Meyer and Black in the backfield now, split behind Nielsen and everyone else in tight. Here's the handoff, right up the middle. Whistles are blowing more than likely if he got the yardage he needed. We'll see something pretty quick. I don't want to have handoff. Looks like it's going to be third down, or are they going to, going to be third down? Still third and very short. Third down and short yardage. Wilson brings him to the line. We're down inside the 20 now. Here's the snap. Jens keeps. He wants to throw. Hey, oh, Lee, oh, 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 David Lee for a touchdown. David Lee, 19 yards for a touchdown. David Lee. Nobody on the defense. Here's the ball. It's down. The kick. It's good. It's good. 14 to the really get into this. This is enjoyable. With San Juan High School, 54 seconds left in the first quarter. The Broncos have put their second touchdown of the quarter on the board, 14 to nothing to score. Yazzie set for the kickoff. There's the whistle. Here's the approach and the kick. Squibs along the ground, in and out of Salt's hands. He'll chase it down. John Schmidt's closing in on him, though. He turns up field. He'll get three or four, maybe five. First one to hit him in there. Yeah, Stacey Yazzie was really the first one to hit him. Uh, David Lee ended up getting the, 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 the cleanup, I guess. David Lee with help inside from uh, with Davis. Uh, they got a flag down there, it looked like. Flag on the return. That's one of those kind of kicks that you can get in trouble when it starts bouncing around back there. And, um, unlike what our, we heard earlier, this is a football game, and a football game don't bounce straight. First and 10 for Kirkland from the 22-yard line. Garrett, the quarterback. Ooh, hit in there, handoff, and immediately hit by Jason Tate in there. Jason Tate's uh, really quite an aggressive player. Hit hey, hey, handoff hey, inside hey. to, who was that? Was that a salt in there? Apparently, we're going to have a What are we going to hear? Robert Moore has changed of quarterback, to be honest with you. We're going to have a change of quarterback. Yeah. There's the gun ending the find out who he is because he just got swamped on the first play of the second quarter. Jason Tate in on a huge sack. It's like we heard earlier tonight. He's one of those generic players. That's right. Third down and about 14, 15 yards to go from inside the 20. We'll just call him Mark generic. The ball, Mark the ball at the 17. Quarterback number 17 for Curtin Central Broncos. Salt in the backfield. He wants to throw. He's got a man. He's picked off Kyle Meyer. He'll return it at least close to the goal line, if not better. He's brought down about the inside the 10. Picked that one off at about the 30. He took it all the way down inside the 10. Kyle Meyer with about a 22 yard return of an interception. You can see that the receiver stopped the ball went over his head. The only one back there was Lou Joseph. That was Kyle Meyer's hands running. It's the Broncos' ball inside the 10, about the nine yard line, first and goal. Jens Nielsen, the quarterback. Meyer and Yazzie. Here's Fisher in motion. Here's the snap. He turns hand off to Meyer. Meyer gets the run hole for four or five. It's about four or five yards on the back. Kyle Meyer that time knifed it off the uh, left tackle. Oh, my, my vision's not bad. Mark it at the five oh, yard line. Went through a little crease. Got him about five yards. Five tough yards down there by the goal line. 
second and goal from the five. He was in tight. Byron Yazzie split behind Nielsen. Hand off once again. He leads it the line. Very close. Down to at least the one. Pete got down there and it looked like a battering rim. He was just hammering and hammering. Let's see what they're calling. Calling time. Somebody out. is not down. Pete it's is not getting up yet. Maybe he hammered once he now. He's okay. They are calling a fumble on the play and a Kirtland Central Broncos recovery. Sure didn't see that. Pete must have fumbled that one. They're calling Kirtland Central recovery in the end zone. Well, we've all gotten caught by that one. But nonetheless, the ball's at the 20-yard line, first and 10 for the Broncos, the Kirtland Central Broncos. They take over on a recovered fumble in the end zone. Number 17, the quarterback, still barking signals. El Sozi in motion. There's a pitch out to Herman Salvi. He heads to the right. He'll get brought down, maybe for a loss. Can he fish her up quickly from quarterback to uh, really kind of clog that up in the backfield and make him cut Three. up and pursuit caught up with him, and he ended up with a yard loss. Second down and 11. Broncos knocking on the door in the opening seconds. Apparently they lost the ball. Kirtland gets it, but they've lost one in the first place. Second down and 11. That was just, uh, they just traded some turnovers. Julius Padilla split far to the left. El Tozzi heads to the right. Handoff is not going to do anything except create another loss. Handoff, that was stacked up. Meyer, Fisher, Lee, Schmidt, Jens Nielsen. Got a lot of them in there. There's a snap. So he wants to keep it. He's got a re nowhere near the receiver. Intended receiver. Closest receiver to that was Coach Ronnie Buford for the San Juan Buncos. Julius Padilla, one of the receivers out there, but ball thrown out of bounds. Came real close to getting in there. There goes. Now they're going to set up a return this time. Nice kick. Pitcher's got it. He's upfield for five or six to waste. He's ball down at the 40. They tried to set a return up. But they set the return up to this side of the field. The kick went to the other side. And, you know, the best laid plans are nice and men. Nevertheless, 14 to nothing. The Broncos on top of the visiting Broncos. I'm sure that if Coach Swenson could get uh, every drive started from the opponent's 40-yard line, he'd take it. The field position the Broncos have had tonight has been, has been really excellent. Yazzie and Meyer in the backfield. Nielsen blocking out the signals. Here's the snap. Reverse to John Schmidt, and he's gone. They'll never oh get boy, him. No, no They'll way. Never get him. He'll score. John Schmidt broke that reverse out here in this one. We'll have to try for an extra point here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Yazzie. Yeah. So far, he's got two through. Just how flawless this night has been. Snap back, Nielsen has it down. The kick is going to be down. We've got a flag on the play, too. Here we go. Hand off to Yazzie. Yeah, yeah, now he's right there for two. Pete handed that one in. So Stacey Yazzie adds two, this time 22 to nothing to score the San Juan Broncos on top of Kirkland. In just a moment, we'll be back with more second quarter action here in the land. Third touchdown of the first half. 9 2 we've got 22 to nothing. A lot of time left. Pete drove that one deep. Into the end zone and out of it. Over El Sosi's head into the end zone, touchback. So Kirkland Central will be starting from... Uh, they're on 20 yard line now. So once again, they'll see if they can put something together. First down and 10 from the 20. We're on pause for a second. <laughs> Good. Yes, here's number 17. God. <laughs> Come over 17, quarterback generic. Let's call him generic. Go back.
Once again, the quarterback, number 17. Here's the oh, snap of the ball. And the Broncos are there before the quarterback has the snap. They bring him down in the backfield. Right back quickly. Jason Watkins was in there before the big really good play even began. Man, it's two yards on that first play. Right now, the defense is playing so well with the offensively there. Current Central is one for three in passing for seven yards. I haven't added this uh, rushing yard yet, but you can look at it from there. She'll be well minuses except for uh, two runs yeah, and two yards. San Juan defense is playing excellent ball game tonight. Second down and 11. Caitlin Central's ball. Here's the snap. He wants to throw. He's got a receiver right out here in the over the middle for five or six yards if the reception's good. Spark the ball. Twenty-six. Third and four now. This is a big down. Broncos need to. Uh, well, I'm sure we're going to see those defensive ends coming hard this time. San Juan's kind of spreading out a little bit. They still got Richie Monson, Eric Laws, Gary Black, Jason Watkins, and Jason Tate on that front line. Robert Mann, Stacy Yazzie, the linebackers. On third and four. Quarterback keeper. Maybe a yard on the way. Not much. I don't know that was not designed, but he did keep it. Fourth and a healthy two at least, maybe three. Cohen's going to have to kick this one away again. Aaron Jones is going in to return this kick. I'd like to see him That'd get the ball. That'd be interesting. Herman Salt back to punt. I'd like to see him get the ball with some run to operate. See if he realizes that. Well, nobody's going to return that one. It's too short. Oh, Gary Black. Gary Black and John Schmidt were both back there. So he kicked that. They're going to block one that was yet tonight. Spot that at the 48-yard line. That's where San Juan takes over. Not bad. Once again, field position Not bad. excellent. San Juan's having, uh, really, anything's going San Juan's way right now. You know, last week in the ball game against Monticello, it seemed like they were, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, pass, pacifying or pacifist or uh, just really weren't that aggressive. And then all of a sudden, the second half, they came out and totally took control of that ball game, and they've taken this one from the opening kickoff on 22 to nothing, San Juan Broncos. First and 10. The shotgun. shotgun formation. Nielsen has the snap. He's got a receiver. Oh. Oh. Backfield. Hand off to Kyle Meyer. Kyle Meyer breaks one. He's getting in. He's got the move. Got a block from Fisher. He's going to be all the way down to about the 30 yard line. Finally, go down the inside the 25 if they spotted where it should be. 28 yards on that play. 28 yards on that play. Well, of course, a first down, but way into Kirtland territory. Ball is good to be on the 25 yards. I admire the ball carrier. Kyle's following up some statistics tonight. Ryan and Yazzie in the eye behind Nielsen. First and 10. He spins around, quick handoff to Fisher. Yeah, Fisher. Fisher. Fisher breaks a couple of tackles before they Find finally get way. down. Still, still wrestling. About the 10-yard line. Sure, Fisher can the ball. Picked up. He's very close to another first down. He'd have to have a first down from that position. Yes, he does. First and 10. It's uh, first and 10 from about the 11. Knowing the way they play, I don't know if they'll really need another first down. Byron Yazzie, here's a quick yeah. throw over the middle. Oh, in and out of the grass. By that, no, that, that pass was intended that time. That, number 12. No, number 12. Jimmy, Swenson. Jimmy Swenson out there. Just reached out with his hands and got the ball knocked away. Coach Swenson sending it in with John Schmidt now. We haven't had a chance to see Swenson this year. He's had a bad knee. He's getting his, uh, getting his test tonight. Back's in the eye behind Nielsen. 
Second down, 11 or 10 yards to go for first down. Nielsen keeps it. He pitches out to Meyer. Meyer inside, inside, inside. There he goes. Touchdown. Two. That's another story. Here's the snap. It's down. Here's the kick. It's up. That's got to be good. He hammered that one. Beautiful. Here's the kick. That, that one's pretty good on the goal line. Taken by El Sozzi. El Sozzi heads right up the middle. He's got one hole. He's, oh, boy, he may break a long one. No, he'll be brought down real close to the 40 yard line. That's a 38. He got to. He had a nice crease over here. I don't know why he tried to cut back. He had a big crease over here. He looked like he could have gone all the way up and to the outside. And he had enough speed to outrun Schmidt, Myers, Lee, Jones, some of those other kids that are in there playing that time. Cut in Central now. It's their madness tonight. Here's the next go round. First down and 10. No. 38, 30, well, actually 36 yard line. Here's the snap. Garrett's back in a quarterback pitch out to Saul. He heads to the left. He'll get up five or six yards. Until that play right there, Shelby, they had uh, seven yards offense unofficially in the first half. That one, they just they doubled it. it. They just doubled it. Second down and three. Once again, we know the quarterback is Garrett. Back in action, number 40, Dan Garrett. Don't sold you one back in the backfield. Herman Salt's another. Teams are set. Here's the snap. Yeah. Hand off, quick inside. Hand off. Gain of nothing, it looks like. Watkins in Maybe one at Watkins, most. Watkins, Robert Mance, Richie Monson, all of them went on that one. I'm bring up about third and a long two. Here comes the Broncos and bring the players into the game now. And one Broncos bring the players in. Let's see Palmer's into the game. Gary back, Jason Tate. Pete, they've got a bunch of them on the line of scrimmage now. They're going to try to stop this first down. Dan Garrett, the Colin quarterback, wants to throw. He's got to receive. Oh, got to be a flag. Garrett. Should be, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Got to be a flag. Two receivers, two Broncos. They all went up and had a big collision for the ball. Dan Tom Iron, John Schmidt, right after the San Juan Broncos. The Sosie, and I can't see the other one for Kerr. I can't think yeah. of his number. Yeah. That was clearly, clearly interference against San Juan. Changes everything for a moment. 4.19 left to go. We'll move the sticks forward. And Kirkland has another chance. 15 yards. And Garrett, the quarterback. Keeps right. in the huddle. Also have that as Kirkland's first, first down. Yeah, I think so. The Broncos uh, in Hamlin territory at the 41. They did just get their first first down. Back split behind Garrett. Yeah. Handoff. On a handoff. Goes maybe four or five yards. We'll see if we can get a number here. Handoff. Bill Williams at number 22. I think that's the other name I've been trying to pick up in that corner. Bill Johnson, 22. He's a star over there. Kirkland, second down. For once on the move. Yeah, 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 Drop back. He wants to throw. He, oh, he was the pickoff. Headed toward the sidelines. He's up the field. 46 yard lines when he's knocked out. I don't know that here's something to start. They didn't leave Pitt that way. They turned him for about 15 yards. What did I say about Monday night? He just reached up, plucked that one from the air. Looked like it might have gone through, but David stuck those long arms up and uh, he can't catch the ball. We're going to have some changes out here this time. See Mike Bowers into the game now for San Juan. Also Brett Webb's into the game for San Juan. All kinds of whistles blow. We've got a timeout for the San Juan Broncos. David Lee now quarterbacking for the San Juan Broncos. He spins handoff to the line. Handoff to Bowers. Is that Mike Bowers with the ball? No, it's Gary Black. Gary Black. Gary Black. He got 
out of the box. Good yard. Six, yard seven yards on that play. David Lee in at quarterback. Uh, Mike Bowers running at one running back. Go back at a running back. Aaron Jones is in the game. David Lee saying, send him me a play, hurry. They're going to have a luxury of doing nothing, play. but they need to get something underway here. They're they talking got, to the Kirtland Central Broncos. They've got a penalty underway, I think. Seven yard game might be just wiped out. Apparently so. There's the flag that Huddle was blocking the flag. They lose five yards. Five yard penalty against the Broncos. Should remain. Donald Gammon's in the game. Billy Slavens is in the game. Brett Webb is also out there. David Lee's quarterbacking. It should be first and 15. First and about 15 to go for the San Juan Broncos. Once again, David Lee, the quarterback. Gary Black in the backfield. We've got Jason Tate. Tate. Tate will get caught, though, for a loss. He'll be able to get him for about five yards. So that backs him up deeper. Second and about uh, 20, 21 yards to go. Second down, and about 22 yards to go. We'll just say second and 20 plus. We're gonna get to see David Lee throw the football. We've seen him intercept it, we've seen him catch a touchdown pass tonight, now we're gonna get to see him throw it. All right, Billy Slavens comes to the near side. We've got Jason Tate and Gary Black in the backfield. David Lee, Lee. handoff to Jason, Jason Tate. Tate. Jason Tate's running hard. He just ran over about two guys back here in his backcourt. Uh, he, he might have been able to get Almost a first. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Might have been able to get a first down if he hadn't gone out of his way to run over that one. Third down and very close to the line of scrimmage. Then he's third down and about 10 and a half yards to go. Third and about 10 and a half. Maybe he's going to throw it this time. I don't know. There's Aaron Jones into the game. That's as good as throwing it. That's, that's speed. Gary Black comes out of the game. Gary Black's pretty quick himself. David Lee, the quarterback. Looks like a sweep. No, no David Lee. Reach out to Dude. Jason Tate. He wants to throw. He's got a... Oh! Bowers was in there. Let's see. A clean play. Trying to go to Bowers. No flags. No flags. No flags. No and Herman Salt. Snap back to Ozzie. Here's the punt. Good long kick. Salt gets it and bobbles down. It's a reverse to El Salty. Gary Black figured that one out. Number 77. Gary Black got in the middle of that one. Slowed him up. Lauren Cook came in for the mop up. He's playing an excellent ball game tonight. Kirtland's ball, first and ten. Seconds taking away. Garrett, the quarterback, he wants to throw. Oh, he picked that off. He hit Fisher. Hit Fisher again. Fisher with an interception now, right there. Jens Nielsen back in at quarterback. Shotgun. He'll go from the spread to shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Nielsen's got it. He wants to throw. He dances around. He's being chased. And he'll get a pass off. He's got you here, Fisher. Way down the field. Oh, well defense by Old Soldier. Bring it again. Down under center this time. Starting backs in behind Jens Nielsen. He wants to throw. He's dancing around the backfield. There he goes. Pass. David, David Lee. Lee, he'll score. He's gone. He will score. Ball is down. Kick is up. And it's good. The Broncos have put six or seven more points on the board. 36 to nothing. Here's the kick, a new kicker for the Broncos. Spins Harris, the number 24. It's taken Freshman. by Salt, he'll head right up field. He's up beyond the 20, up to the 30, 35. Fumble in there. Some kind of fumble. Kirkland's ball, first and 10. If the quarterback fumbles the stab, I think the Broncos have it look like Gary Black. Gary Black. Gary Black. 21 seconds, 15, 14. The clock started counting a few seconds ago. David Lee, he'll have to keep it. He wants to throw. He's, oh, incomplete. Had a man down there. 
They, they still quarterback, and they got six seconds. Come on, David, throw the football. No, quick handoff. The clock will expire. Kick is out of bounds. Might be the only thing. Got kick out of bounds. Might be the only thing. Good long kick. Over everybody's head through the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> Pete puts himself in those predicaments and then manages to kick his way out. Of second half action here in Blanding. Once again, San Juan 39, the Cleveland Central Broncos nothing. Well, that was mildly successful. What's it? to action with 8.41 left in the third quarter. Stacy Yazzie once again has the ball teed up. He's ready for a, still another kickoff. Here's the kick. It's strong. Chases Salt back to near the goal line. He comes forward. Crosses the 10. He's up to the 20. He's got one hole in there, but the Broncos is strong and he's down. Broncos close that one in a hurry. They're a coverage team. If you watch them go down, they keep the whole field covered. They do a good job on, on their kick coverage. 24-yard line. Is it Billy Slavin's in on that stop? Close to the 25. 39 on San Juan's side, and the lights are out on over on Curtin's side. El Sozi to the right, Padilla to the left. Max in the eye. Garrett, the quarterback, he wants to throw. He gets hit as he throws. It's incomplete. He was hammered in there by Jason Watkins that time. He, the, the Broncos have been... Uh, San Juan Broncos have been on top of those quarterbacks all night long. So we'll see if they can pull out now. Second down and ten. Dave. Pippen Central Broncos have been facing this kind of a situation the whole game. It seems like every time they look up, they're second and 14 or third and 16. Back split behind Garrett. He'll yes. flip around, pitch out to Corey Sanders. Stacy Yazzie there. Stacy Yazzie, I'm not sure who else was over there on that corner coming up. Looks like it might have been Jens Nielsen. I'll give that carry to them. Can he a fish? Sanchez. Can he a fisher over there? I, I didn't think we'd see Jens out there and play him defensive back with a 39 to nothing lead. Salt or Sanchez only got about two at the best. That's being generous. That brings up third down and the healthy eight. And a fumble hand snap, snap, wasn't it? A fumble <laughs> snap or a quick handoff or something, but it's not successful because we're still looking at uh, fourth and long. It didn't even cross the line of scrimmage. How much can the play bring up fourth and long yardage? Fourth and about nine and go. 7.33, clock is rolling, third quarter, 39 to nothing, San Juan on top. Salt's going to turn it away again. Hillman Salt will punt, back deep, up the San Juan Broncos. Yeah, Fisher, whatever. Almost blocked kick. the kick, gets a good bounce, Aaron Jones also back there to receive Fisher will cover it. Fisher down on it. Got got it. Throw a flag. Yeah, he got he hit. Yeah, he got hit. He got hit late. I think a little frustration coming out. He didn't get hit that hard, but he did get hit. Uh, Big obvious just seeking to cover the ball. It was Evans Dodge, one of the captains for uh, Cullen Central Broncos. Coming on the field now for San Juan. Let's set this around. Got Brett Webb at one receiver. Billy Slayton's at a tight end. David Lee's going to quarterback. Uh, we've got Jason Watkins in the game, Donald Gammon in the game, Brett Webb's in the game. Everybody moves now. It's a 15-yard penalty. Spot that ball at the 43-yard line for Kirtland now. Glenn Gammon's in the game. We have several of the Broncos. To, uh, Coach Wilson getting a chance tonight to let them all play. We've already seen a freshman or two in the game. 
So with a whole new set up, 7-10 left to go. Here come the Broncos. David Lee, the quarterback. Option he keeps, he pitches. Aaron Jones. About the line of scrimmage, though. No game. They strung that one out uh, real well. They strung it out all the way across the field. Ran out of play anywhere to run. That brings up second and a little over 10 yards to go. Make it about 11. From the 44-yard line. In Kirtland territory, but haven't they been all evening? Fullhouse backfield, David Lee, the quarterback, he turns. Right to Aaron Jones, he's headed to the near side. He'll get a turn in there, almost breaks one. Now that still gets a gain of two or three. I'm not so sure. Looks like they marked it back close to the line of scrimmage, shall we? That marker he threw about one yard. About one yard. We need to see David Lee throw a touchdown pass. He's intercepted passes, caught two. We need to see him throw oh, it Ball spotted at the 43 yard line. Third down, just about 10 yards to go. Slogan to the near side, a receiver split far to the left. David Lee takes the snap, he's going to throw, he drops back, he rolls right, he's being chased, he'll get a pass off, almost picked off. It was, com was it complete? It was complete. Almost intercepted through his hands, went into the hands they of Mike, Mike Bowers. Bowers a completion? Mike Bowers caught that. Or may say incomplete now. Sure looked like he's on market. Thought he was marking it as a catch. Almost caught. Ben Garvin stepping out of the game. And then fourth down and ten. Fourth and ten. It's going to be a punt. Who's going to punt it? Gary Black's going to be back. Gary Black gets the punt. Everybody gets to try something different. Black has the snap. Here's the kick. Good That's high. Different. Great punt. That's something different. 43 yards. And the ball's still in the end zone. He's going to put it down. I don't think he can he do that on him. Yeah, I guess he can do that on a punt. Gary Black just nailed a nice spot. That's about all he could do. He's got it. Brought down for first down yardage, though. Past the 30 yard line. So they make mistakes. That's the uh, rare first down for Kirtland. Number two in the ball game. Unofficial. First and ten now from their own 32 yard line. Garrett brings the team to the line. Max in the eye, one receiver, wide right. Sam Hardin is going to have this shutout tested right here. Clock rolling here, third quarter, 225 left to go. Kirtland on offense with that interception. Garrett, the quarterback, he wants to throw. Intercepted and he's gone. There is no stopping him. He might, he might not make it. Garrett, the quarterback, the last hope he gets away from him. He's gone. David Lee on about an 85-yard touchdown. He's probably not going to be staying warm. Oh, bad snap. He picks it up, drops it again. That will be the first. Black, we're ready to go when we're ready to go. Two oh four remaining here in the third quarter. Forty five to nothing. The score spins Harrison in to kick the ball for the Broncos. Back deep, Salt, Sanchez, El Sozi. Split kick right past El Sozi into the end zone for the touchback. Sam Ron that time getting everybody in on the action. Spence kicked that ball. Uh, well, it probably wasn't the kind of kick he really wanted, but he sure is thrilled with the results. Spence is a freshman. Five foot man, 165 pound freshman. Kirtland, of course, uh, really deep in the hole. First and 10 from the 20 here with um, a 45 point deficit. We're just, we're just going to enjoy the rest of this game, I imagine. And we haven't already. We've got a timeout on the field. Who's going to be called back? Oh, and Central Broncos. In just a moment, we'll be back with more third quarter action. Central still has the ball. Here's the snap to Garrett. He wants to throw. He lost one up there. Padilla has the... Really, I just... 
Holden. Looks like against the current Central Broncos. I mean, got a whole new side of tape, so we're okay. I know, but we don't want to change it right now. Nails will man downfield. No, I mean, I've got a whole side of tape ahead of us. Oh. I changed it. Oh, okay. Time out. Okay. Well, let's just let just let just let roll. I don't have anything to say right now. You know. 45 to nothing to score. If we had reminded uh, you were right already. With second and 10, Blue House backfield. Garrett, the quarterback. They're set. Here's the snap. Garrett on the keeper, straight forward for four, maybe. That's interesting. Brings up. Third down, about five. 45 to nothing, and the quarterback is sneaking from second for and five yards. <laughs> for five yards. I see another quarterback warming up on the sidelines. Young man's kind of, kind of, uh, I know him pretty well. His name's Lab Shenway. Curtin Barlow, first and five. Yeah, they're they're up the middle, and they're going to be up to first down yardage and more. Third and five, they'll convert one. First and ten. And in Bronco territory, that's rare. 49 yard line. San Juan still on defense, but at this point in time, with 17 seconds left to go, 45 nothing the score. We're letting a lot of people have a good time. Kirtland on offense, first and ten. Garrett's handoff. He's going to be stacked up for about a yard, maybe two. And there's the gun ending the third quarter of play. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more than that over there. Than that? Yeah. Kirtland just needs a matter of inches. They're going to try to climb it out here. Glenn Diamond in the game. Let's see who else we have in there. Donald Gavin's in there. Lauren Cook's playing linebacker. Jason Watkins is in the game. Stacy Hosey's in the game. Backs in the eye, quarterback sneak. Yeah, he tried to sneak, and Pete caught him right there shoulder to shoulder. Let's see where they mark it. Pete just blitzed right through, caught the quarterback shoulder to shoulder, stopping cold. It's just up so to they board. They're going to mark him real close. Looks like they're going to get it to him. I think they're going to get it to him, yeah. There's the 10. The well, they need to get a first down. Yeah, that's one each quarter now. So Kirkland man gets another first down. Pull out backfield. Garrett, the quarterback. There's a snap there. Another right. sneak. Trying to sneak again. Stacy shot four. the gap again. Shot the, a little off center that time. Got about four. And one time leader, though, that they call the quarterback sneaks behind 45 to nothing. Second and six. Got right only one quarter. I don't know if they can score enough times to catch up. No, I don't think so. Here come Kirtland Broncos. They're looking at second down and a long six. So as he comes to the near side in motion. Here's the snap. He'll keep it. He wants to throw. He rolls left. Got a receiver down the field. David Lee intercepted. David Lee picked another one off. That's four. Intercepted by David Lee. Who we have quarterback? David Lee's quarterback and Gary Black. Can't see the other one. Aaron Jones, I think, in the backfield. David Lee, quick handoff. And I'm getting about five, and I'm not sure. I think it might have been Gary Black up the middle. They'll unstack things here. We'll get a number, and it is Aaron Jones, number 20. We got about five yards on that play. Bring up second and five. So, second down, about six to go for the Broncos. David Lee at quarterback. They should have time to pitch out to Aaron Jones. He fumbles. Yeah, I think he recovered the ball. He's going to lose. About four. Got to pull these guys apart. No, eight four yards in the football is what he lost. They give the ball to Kirkland. Ten, line the clock. 
Garrett still the quarterback. 10-01 left to go. Rock rolling. Here's the snap. Pitch out to the salt. He's grabbed outside after Gary Black tried the left side. But Gary Black just wouldn't let him outside. He wanted to get outside real bad. Gary just turned it out and finally stopped him there. No gain. They may get in the yard and they not very much. Second down and about nine. I've got other official statistics here. I'm not giving him anything. Once again, that ball is at about the 16, 15 yard line. Deepest penetration in the intercept yard. That will probably work out a little better. Backs in the line behind the gun. Is it complete? I think it, I think it may have made a dive and a catch. Sam Juan Blanco stringing out that defense now. Kirtland still on offense. Here's the snap. Garrett wants to throw. He's had a receiver out here coming out of the backfield. Billy Johnson, but he'll go through him. They beat Miami. I mean, I know the competition was a bunch, but they still won. Kirtland still has the ball. Yeah, yeah, screen back pass. Pass. Ricky Dawson intercepted a screen pass. Give one to a lineman. Seven interceptions. Oh, he's probably going to want to change his number now and become a wide receiver. We've got a new quarterback. Yes, yeah, sir. Number one, Lad Shumway. Lad Shumway. We're a quarterback. Let's see what they list Lad at. 115 pounds. Lad's grown a little since I saw him last. Harley Watkins. Harley Watkins, a freshman, running the ball. We'll have to pick up a few of these numbers. I that one caught my eye right away. Well, no, a lot of these numbers I know. These kids, some of the kids I coached back in the league football for about three or four years. Last Mad one was way on a quick handoff. Mad won't go anywhere either. Yeah, with these kids, it doesn't matter how far it goes. They're out playing fullback. Tim Wortman in at receiver, number 81. He comes to the near side. Wide left. Ben Harrison in the backfield. Last Shumway, the quarterback. The officials are doing something for a moment. That'll give us a chance to. Has to be quite exciting for those kids. I know a lot of those kids out there right now are real well. They just have to be so excited. Last right. Shumway drops back. He wants to throw. He's got a receiver out here. Oh, in and out of his hands. Tim Workman, the interior. Gee, he's still here or not, but he probably wouldn't like it too well either. They got him real hit. Lad listed at 115 pounds, and I think they're stretching him. Ball just inside the 35-yard line of the San Juan Broncos. We're looking at a uh, whole new offensive set. Lad Shumway, the quarterback, Spence Harrison in the backfield. Lad Shumway on a handoff. That's right with the ball up the middle. Getting about two on that. Second down and eight for the Broncos. San Juan's got some numbers in there now that uh, I don't have names for. I have several of them I don't have the names for. Shumway to quarterback, drop it back to throw. Oh, it's incomplete. Incomplete. They say almost picked off by Salt. He got He'd take his brother on, and his brother plays for BYU, and he wants we'll to play back to, him. Pitch back to Watkins. Ollie Watkins, good run. Oh, boy. Good yardage. Tony for about six or seven yards. Ollie Watkins from last Shumway. Getting about six yards. Ollie's another person running the yards with the ball. Glad to see these kids getting a chance to play. No. Continue their offense on fourth down, fourth down, about two and a half, three yards to go. Full backfield, there's Shumway. Head off to Watkins, he won't get it, he won't get it. Stick his head in there, but I'm almost, he couldn't move some of those fellas out of the way. I ran hard on that play. So they'll change, they'll give the kids the shots on the offense, but they don't want Kirtland to go anywhere either. They want to the play. John Schmidt just gets in the game as the play starts. John Schmidt came off the bench right, ran right out there in the middle of the, well, the action was. It was just kind of a safety battle for him, I guess. Handoff goes for maybe four or five yards. Jason Watkins with the stop. Sanchez leads the game for the Broncos. Bill Johnson comes in. Jason, 
Jason Watkins, excuse me, Shelby, played, an, yeah, played an excellent football game tonight. He's, he's, he's been coming off an angle rather than trying to stand the centers up. He's been penetrating off of each side, and, and I guess he's the only one who knows which side he's going to, but he's really messed up things for Curtin Central Broncos. There he is again. He's in there yeah, on the oh, quarterback. Oh, There's a reverse. Back in a reverse. Dale Sozy gets a first down. There's the a flag. flag flies. Flag flew from about yeah, 15 yeah. yards. We got a clip on the Curtin Central Broncos. Take that 10 yard gain away. That was an excellent setup play. They take a little uh, uh, option play one way, and when he made his pitch, he hit it back, coming back the other way. Uh, it was a real good play. Uh, gain of about 15 yards, but uh, off or not, we're going to see him come uh, back the other direction. Now we see Sam Martin putting the big kid in on the defense. Add some way in on defense. <laughs> yeah. Defensive back now. Let's see who else they got in there. I think Mark is in there playing some defense. Ron Cooks at last. Bowers in there. Mike Bowers is in there. We'll give everybody some recognition. Clint Palmer's playing corner on the other side. Yeah, and all over to Yeah, he wants to throw. He's got out Sozi. It's complete. He'll twist and turn and finally get knocked out just short of a first down. Randy Elsie. now. We're all set to go. Here we go. Back to the eye. Get out the quarterback receiver is right now. Yeah, he wants to throw. Oh, boy. Almost complete to number 14. This one will be in the backfield. Add some way the quarterback. Last time we saw Workman in as one of the receivers. There he comes. Kind of hard to miss him getting down on that field. Tim at 5'3", 100 pounds. Of two and a hundred pounds. Also in there, Scott Paulson, number 40. Pitch back to Harley Watkins. He heads right. He'll get good yardage out of this one. Harley's going for about seven yards. Harley took that ball on the right side and came up there like he meant business. Nice play there, Harley Watkins. Nice play. Watkins comes out. He'll get another one a chance. Clint Palmer in. 345 remaining in our ball game. 45, San Juan, zero. Second down and two. I wouldn't be surprised to see these kids throw some more up there if they can. I'd love to see these kids score a touchdown. Paulson and uh, before we can set anything, Lance Shumway on a handoff. Try to run spin straight up the middle that time, pick up the first down. Let's see how far he got. Didn't quite get enough. Got a yard. Not quite, third down, and just about a foot to go. Ball just inside of a yard left for a first down. First down, third, and about a half a yard to go. They're in tight, here's Shumway, he wants to throw, he's back. Here's his pass downfield, he's got Mike Bowers. Is it a completion? It's a completion, if they both come down with it now, if they both come down with it, that's a completion. No, they didn't get it into the third one. That was a bad call. Boy, it looked like Bowers down, had his hands up there. If they both come down with the ball, it should be an offensive possession. So Lamb throws his first interception. Probably won't be his last one either. Yeah. San Juan, San Juan, take it away. Oh boy, we reverse the decision. Go it to San Juan. Let me scratch it. There you see that. Give him a completion. So the kids get another shot. You were right, Danny. It, when they both come down with it, it, it's the offensive ball's possession. Defense has to take it away from them. If they both got it, it's the offense's possession. Possession is nine tenths of the wall. Exactly. The tie going to the dealer. Shot by the quarterback. Hand off to Harrison right up the middle for a couple. He's got about three tough ones in there. And about four yards on the play. Spence tough kid. 5,965. Second down now. He moved the sticks a couple. Second down about seven. But in Kirtland territory, 226. Block is rolling. At the 23-yard line. Need to hustle out there. All the officials are looking at their clock. They're going to hit them with a below game for not careful. That one official in the back's walking up. There's there. a snap. They may have got it off. Shumway may have to eat that one. He uh, lost the football somewhere. <laughs> They're hurried. Also in the play. 
That brings up third and about 11. Into the game, Wharton, Harley Watkins. Clint Palmer coming out, Wharton in. Paulson heads wide right. Backs in the eye behind Lad Chumway. Here's the snap. Here's the pitch back to Harley Watkins. He's got one hole. He'll get a couple. Not very much. Harley didn't have anything outside. Okay. Tried to cut it back inside. Very little in there. Fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down and uh, the tee was just handed to Stacy going to try to Here comes Jens. They're saying, hey, we need a holder. And with a 108 left to go, we may see a long field goal. A long field goal. Field goal. Looks like he's going to try one That 41 yards with the 10 in the end zone. Clock is still rolling, 55 seconds, 45 to nothing to score. Here comes Yazzie's attempt. He's hit on this, he can hit the ball this way. There's a delay in the game. Now we're going to, now we're going to really see if he can hit one this way. I think they're still going to try Oh, yeah, they'll try it. Why not? That's going to put it a 47-yard field goal attempt. About 47 yards. Ball spotted at the 30. They're going to, and seven yards for the snap back to the spot. And you had the 10 more for the end zone. It's like it's a good, good it's like healthy field goal. You, you yeah. add seven here and add 10 there, and you just keep adding. Nielsen, the quarterback, he has the ball down. There's the kick. Short, way no, short. Very short. Going to be a return, however. Bill Johnson has it. He crosses the 10. He's up to about the 20, 25 before he's brought down. 34 seconds remaining. 45 to nothing to score. We've seen some big numbers today. The Grantsville. That was in the first poll of the season. On offense. Pass is incomplete. Pass incomplete to Padilla. The fans are uh, hanging this one up with 21 seconds left to go. A lot of the fans hung it up. <laughs> a lot of them left a long time ago. 45 to nothing. San Juan's kind of uh, felt those muscles a little tonight. Defense played an excellent, excellent ball game. One time he gets seven interceptions. One fumble. They spread the secondary out. El Sozi in motion to the near side. Backs in the eye behind Garrett. He wants to throw. He's eating one downfield way over everybody's head. Intended receiver, Luis Padilla. That one took five seconds. Julius Padilla. Julius. And we're now having a mass exodus. The fans are convinced. I, I think we can safely assume with 16 seconds to go that this one can be put in the books as victory number three for Coach Swinson and the San Juan Broncos. Excellent. Excellent ball game tonight. Just about every uh, area that you want to talk about. Excellent ball game tonight by the Broncos. 16 seconds left on the clock. It's still Kirtland's ball. Third down, 10 yards to go. Garrett will roll right. He wants to throw. He's got it. Uh, oh, uh, off by Bowers. Bowers. No mark that he was down. <laughs> Somebody just hit the official in the head with the ball. <laughs> That wouldn't get the San Juan fans cheering, would it? But with eight seconds left to go, Mike Bowers gets his interception. I think it's time for Lad Shumway to set up and throw as far as he can. Maybe he Maybe it'll work, but get back in the shotgun and just heave it. I'm gonna get another one. Paulson to the right, Workman's in close on the left side. We're about set to play. Eight seconds left to go. They'll start the clock. Shumway, the quarterback, he'll sit down on it and let the clock expire unless, for some strange reason, anybody would want to stop the clock. And here's the gun. That's the end of the game. The San Juan follow the junior varsity game on the alumni game. game. Oh,